Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to have a quick look at how to download all of your YouTube videos direct from YouTube and other data including watch history for your YouTube channel. So you can go into your um, YouTube studio and go into content and click the three dots and hit download. Or you could even hit the dot share, go to the more action share and hit download. But as soon as you do more than one video, you cannot hit the download button. So how do you download all your videos at the same time? Now, it's very easy and a bit of a shout out here to uh, Neil uh, Mossy. Um, I'm sorry if that's not how you uh, pronounce your name, Neil. But um, on this video here, he shows the link that I'm about to um, tell you now. Um, go check Neil out as well, he does make some good content, uh, he's got a couple of channels there. So what we want to do is, we want to go to takeout.google.com as you can see here. So you just uh, search uh, Google Takeout, as you can see I've already been here. And this will take you to a site very much like this. And this is basically most of the data that Google has on your account. So any account that you've had here, you can see here, I'm going to deselect all because we only actually want one thing here. So you've got your access log, you've got your Android devices, um, you know, everything, Blogger, Calendar, Chrome, all your data here, including your uh, Google Drive uh, account here, so all your photos and stuff. Um, uh, and Google Photos, this is the one that Neil uh, was shown in his video. But if you keep scrolling all the way down the bottom, look, look at all the information that Google has on you, that you can just download. All, you can download all of this yourself. It's, this is your information that you can download. But right at the very bottom, we have YouTube and YouTube Music. Watch, uh, so you can have your watch and search history, your videos, which is what we are interested in here, all your comments and other content that you've created on YouTube. Just hit that little dot. That then includes, uh, opens up two bots this year. So under multiple formats, you have all the information that you're about to download. Uh, under the history, it does actually give you an option here. You can download in HTML as de default or JSON. So whatever you want to do, you can uh, select them. And this is basically all the content that you're about to uh, create and download. Just hit OK. And then we go to the next step. In this next step, it gives you a couple of options. So it gives you a link. You can either have it uh, send a link to your email address, which is what I'm going to do here. You can add it to your drive, your Dropbox, your OneDrive, or to Box. So you can do all of this, um, no problem. You can export it once. You can, you can choose this to export it every so often. So every two months year for one year. And then down here, you've got another couple of options. So a file type, you can have it as a .zip or .tgz. I'm going to have it as .zip. And then at the bottom here, it, it gives you a bit of option here for if you want to download this. So you can split these downloads into multiple files. Depending on your internet connection, you may only want to download um, a smaller one. So I'm going to select 10 gigabyte here because that's um, you know manageable by my internet. Uh, it all depends because I use right now. I'm using mobile data, so I I want to be con you know I want to be uh, careful of that. So you can export larger files. Here it tells you all information here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna hit create export. This will now create an export and send you a link to your email address, and that's basically it. When you get the email, you can hit download and you'll have all your information here. Once I get that email through, uh, we'll come back on the next clip. Just want to include a little side note here. Make sure that the account you're using is your YouTube account for this process. I just did it just now with my email account and obviously I had no data. So I was a little confused until I realized I was on the wrong account. But we'll come back now once I've got the data. So once uh, YouTube has uh, managed all your data, you get a couple of emails from Google Takeout. And you can see here that I have 15 downloads there and then one on a separate email. Don't do what I did uh, on the Takeout one. Make sure it's your YouTube channel. 
As you can see here, I've only got one download here, but if I go to my um, email, as you can see, I have uh, basically 16 different ones. So you can hit download on this slot and it will download all of them. So when we hit download, here we go. It'll give you a big mass of data list here of each and in uh, each of them. And you can see there, you know, 10 gigabyte, 10 gig, 10, 10 gig, 6, 11, 28, 36. No idea why they are bigger, but you get the idea. So I'm assuming these ones are going to be like the big ones, but let's do the 11 gig version here. And unfortunately, because I'm on a mobile internet, it's going to take me a little while to download them. So I will do a small one. Uh, which one's the smallest? That's 7 gigabyte. Nope, 6.94. Let's do that and I'll cancel these ones. So there we are. So I'll let this one download and we'll have a quick look at the data inside there. Again, like I said, this is going to take me a while purely because I am using mobile data to record this video. So once you have them all downloaded, uh, you'll get some zip files that will download the second one. I'll show you why now because uh, this is the one I downloaded in the video and I only have two videos on this one. I did download this one um, onto the desktop so you can fully download your videos as you can see there. Uh, but I downloaded a second one just to show you the other information. So it gets you your search history there, um, your comments, and these all are as uh, HTML links. So you can look at all your comments there. So I showed you the um, another day, the other day of viewing your comments. This uh, is another way, so you can literally physically download all your comments that way. Um, you got your, your live chat, so this is any live stream message you've ever gone to. All your uh, channel community posts are all here as links. Um, your playlist, so this is a um, different playlist, so I'll just quickly open this. I previously opened this uh, using uh, Visual Studio Code, as you can see here. It just gives you basically the link IDs for your playlists and stuff. Um, and then what else we got your a list of uh, everyone you're subscribed to on there and then more of your videos down here so this is uh, quite a few videos actually 37 items minus the four there so yeah uh, the rest of them are videos obviously or oh, two of them are not videos should i say so it's 35 videos on this one um obviously i've got well over 100 videos there that's why it downloads multiple different files so that is how you can download all of your YouTube data um, for you to analyze, you know, to keep videos, whatever it is you want to do with your YouTube data and view it. That is how you do it. If this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want to see. Uh, thank you all to my channel supporters. It needs to be at the top right. Uh, that's via PayPal and Patreon. And um, yeah, just let me know if there's anything you want to see. And Catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now, everyone.